Hello and welcome. How are you doing? Next, I like to show you that how to disassemble and also assemble this Ford Ford cars front drive set. And this is really useful information if we need to replace this drive set boot in our Ford car. And there is now situa situation that this part is outer part of this drive shaft and this part is inner part what goes to this uh, through this uh, gearbox. And first step is that that we need to open these uh, drive shaft boots, these clamps and this uh, metallic plates what keeps this boot in in position and in that my Ford drive shaft one clamp is already away and it has been opened by self but next I need to open this another this uh, clamps and there is idea that in that point what is this upper area in in here and also in here and in here I need to cut this thing and let's look closer to these upper things next okay and here is this upper part in here and I will cut this thing in here and what is very good way to cut this is this Dremel multi-tool. And next I will show that how it works and we continue. Okay, and here we have this Dremel multi-tool and this is really useful machine and especially like this basic tool Dremel 3000 what we can purchase in US and in Europe. This normally costs something like 50 to uh, something like 100 euros or US dollars this set and then there is excellent at uh, this cutting disc what I like to show next what is amazing fantastic there is these parts and when I open that set there is first this drill and then I insert this cutting disc in there that way that I little bit move that bite down down in here I press that, that down and then I insert the disc in here the central area and I move that in this way and this is really easy to use and then I insert that my disc in in this central area and then I press that blue button and I rotate that this is like locking bolt now when it, it is spiked only in my fingers that this part don't move and this is uh, very stable and tight in here I can start to cut these things and I will cut that in that kind of cutting in here one cut and second cut in here and third cut in here okay and then we need protective eyeglasses and hearing protection and, and then I start to cut these things next please enjoy okay and I start there is my machine I insert it on and this is first Now it's open. And second. It's open. Ok, 
okay and it happens fast when we have good tools and the best thing is that when we use that Dremel we can we can reuse these boots this is the best thing because now these parts are undamaged and, and ready for reuse and that's I take that part away and then when these parts these parts are free I can take that that part first away and it happens so that I little bit move that boot and I can actually use my screwdriver and flathead screwdriver and carefully I little bit bend that and I insert that my tool in here and, and that way I open and, and this opens so easily. This is easy. Okay and there is some some parts some parts loosen and that means that there is now a little bit work to us but then we continue. Okay and then then I I insert then I move that boot in a little bit down and I check that what is their situation. There should be there is now situation that that one of these this drive shaft parts is damaged. Because there is this they have opened so much. Okay. Okay, and that means that that we we need to need to purchase also that that new shaft in here. Okay, but but then then idea is to clean that part because there is then metallic pin. Next what we are planning to open and it's just this is the key thing that is cleaning and then when I clean that thing we can soon see this pin in there. It is there in just in there. And let's look that closer next. And I insert that my drive shaft next in this workbench. What is in here? In, in that kind of this kind of position. In here that it's easy is to work with this and not too much work but so much that, that we can look that part next closer. Okay and next thing is that that we need to find in this central area that hole what is just in there. And when I move that there is this metallic pin what I need to next open and it's good to clean with cotton cloth very carefully that area and then we start to take that pin away it moves and next we need next we need that kind of small tongs and there is key point this head they are very small this head these things and they must fit in this hole in here an idea is that when I insert that my tool in there, then I start to widen that thing in that way. And, and now it's widen. And then when it's widen, I, I need to insert some sharp spike in there and start to bend that open like in that way. Then again, I open it more, and then I think that I take a little bit different, different kind of tongs. Now they are a little bit that kind, and, and we need really these specific tongs because this is so so difficult, difficult to 
take out. I in insert that in, in here and let's look that how I managed to do next. And this this is this is this jobs difficult this job. Okay, this is not good. I I think that this these tools were better. A little bit help that. Then, then I I move that in here, and then when it is open, I insert that my spike. In. Okay, and now. Idea is to lift, lift this like in that way, in up in here. This is idea. Idea in that way. And then, then I take third tongs that I can keep that in here, and say maybe I could. And it is good to hand. It is. It is good to handle this carefully because we need to install this. Okay, now it opens. There is this metallic, this pin. It looks like that. Okay, now it's free. And then normally this shaft opens in here. If we a little bit hammer it in very carefully in this down area, like in that way. It normally and all areas a little bit. It normally opens carefully. And it's it's good to use also some wooden plate in here. Like in that way that I have this part and then I because then this this noses they don't damage so much. But now I I use my hammer because this is so worn out that I need to purchase new one. And now it's lift ups. And now it's free. And then important thing, please remember that in what what side this shaft was, because it goes only in one way in here, in that way. We can't insert this in this way. Remember that. Insert some paint or color that you remember that this is the side, and I I always insert that in that way, in down in here. Okay, and next, when this is free, we can start to take these boots away. First that one, and then, then this next. A little bit move that away. And in here, there's this, this, this boot. And now when this is free, I can, I can take this outer boot also. Away so very easily. I only rotate that in that way. And now it now it goes out. Okay. And then, then this, this this goes actually easier out when we a little bit lubricate. We take this grease in here, and then when I lubricate that shaft, it, it, it runs. This boot goes nicer. Okay, and let's check that how how easily it moves now. Okay, it's, now it comes, and there is this outer drive shaft for this in fine and we can reuse that part. Okay, and there there we have this outer 
drive shaft and we can also disassemble that part and there are I will show that how it happens first we need cotton cloth because there is quite much grease and this grease is good good sign and it's good to clean this all all creases away that way okay good okay it's, and then when I have cleaned that all things this grease away we continue after that okay and normally we don't disassemble that drive shaft more because now it's ready for this grease refilling in that area and boot back in there this drive shaft boot same way and then we need to insert new clamps in here and then that part is the final thing and then this boot in their back but but now I will show that if you like to take that out this is possible to take out so that, that I, I take that in this position and then I take hammer and then when I hit in these parts this this part goes goes out and I will hammer that little bit that we can see that how this part goes goes away and soon we continue okay and now I hammer that part away in that way and now this shaft is free and there is this and back installation is same way that we start to install in that and then hammering hammering back okay and this was this idea how to disassemble and assemble this Ford drive set and thank you for watching and have a nice day to you